In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of the 510 Kestrel Pro Boa shoes. So I'm doing this at a townhouse in Brevard. We just got here and we were going to ride and it's been pouring down rain. So I'm doing something a little different, just an on the spot review. So I got these shoes for riding my enduro bike and my trail bike. Basically, any time now that I ride in baggy shorts, especially when I use knee pads, I use these shoes. And I wanted something that was more durable than just a regular, you know, carbon sole clipless shoe. So these shoes are for clipless pedals. And I did that because even though I've ridden flat pedals from time to time, I've been riding clipless pedals for so long, cross country, gravel, road, whatever, even though I don't road bike anymore, I'm still riding gravel and cross country a lot. I just feel like I'm in more control. I have more power to my pedal stroke with clipless pedals. Now everybody's different. If you're really used to flat pedals, then you could probably get just as much power out of flat pedals. But again, I just feel a lot more confident in clipless pedals. So let me talk about these shoes. They are the most comfortable mountain bike shoe I've ever used. I like them because when I do hike a bike sections, when I'm walking on the trail, they're so easy to walk in. The rubber on the bottom is extremely grippy. Uh, it's got a rubber piece on the front. It's got a rubber piece on the back. So they're super durable. They are a BOA shoe. So like I said, they're the Kestrel Pro BOAs. Now let me first of all say that you probably notice an Adidas logo. If you're not familiar with what's happened with 510, they got bought out by Adidas I think around 2011. It, even though they're owned by Adidas, it's still under the 510 brand. Uh, but like I said, they are a BOA shoe. Now I had made a video quite a while ago about why I don't like BOA laces and the reason is they can break. But they do work well. And these are a shoe that I don't use as much as my cross country and gravel shoe. Uh, and I'll actually do a, a review on those. I've got a couple pairs. I've got a Shimano gravel shoe and then I've got a pair of CDs that I use for cross country, sometimes trail and sometimes gravel. But uh, because I don't use these that often, I'm not too concerned about the boa lace breaking. Now it does, it, you know, Heavy use, you, you probably get a year or two out of a boa lace, but the problem is you could be on a trip, you could be getting ready for a big ride, a vent or whatever, and your lace breaks. And if you don't have a pair of backup shoes and you don't have another lace, then you're kind of out of luck. So when I travel with these, I bring another pair of shoes. Uh, but when the boa laces work, they work extremely well. And like I said, if they break, I mean, you probably the best thing to do is just to get another pair of laces and keep them in your bag. Uh, but they lace up really well. There's only one BOA dial, so all you have to do is slip your foot in. I don't use the Velcro strap. I use it one time to get it where I want it, and I don't have to use it to take them on and off. So it really is just slip your foot in and tighten the BOA lace. And it's, this is the smoothest BOA lace system I've ever used on any shoe. And uh, not only are they comfortable, they're super easy to get in and out of. Uh, like I said, they're really easy to walk around in. Now, they're not the lightest shoe. I mean, they're durable. They've got a big, thick rubber sole on the bottom for, you know, walking around uh, like hike a bike sections. Great for these, but uh, they're not the lightest shoe. So if you're a weight weenie, it's probably not the shoe for you. If you want a super durable, uh, stiff shoe, and that is one of the things that I really like about this shoe is the stiffness. I've used shoes like this, you know, clipless shoes with a big rubber sole for walking around in that were not stiff, and I could not stand them. I tried it, and after a few rides, I, I just gave up on them. But these are stiff, and if they weren't stiff, I would not use these. But I, I, I can barely even bend that sole. Uh, there's a little bit of flex. They're not quite as stiff as like a full-on carbon sole race shoe, but you don't want that, right? Uh, carbon sole shoes, if you try to walk on rocks and stuff like that, um, not only are they slippery, but they're also a little bit too stiff. So these have a little bit of give to them, uh, but they're also extremely stiff. I don't feel them flex when I pedal. And that's what, you know, I described those other shoes that I use that I did not like. Uh, they were just, I just felt like my foot was falling over the side. These are not like that. Plenty of power when I pedal. And like I said, they're, they're super comfortable shoes. Now let me talk real quick about the cleat that I use on these. By nature, uh, because of where I use these shoes, so enduro and trail, 
I need to get my foot out really quickly. Now that's the advantage of flat pedals, right? Because you can just take your foot off super quickly um, if you start to slip out. So that's technical climbs that are wet or just really steep and you, know, you don't know if you're gonna make it or not. You need the confidence that you can put your foot down really quickly. So I use the Shimano multi-release cleats. These are the only shoe that I use multi-release cleats. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with these, I did do a review on these like many years ago that I'll drop in the description below. It's still relevant, even though I made that video a long, long time ago. Uh, basically, multi-release cleats means this shoe will release any direction except for straight up. So you don't have to put your heel completely to the side to get out because what happens is when you're going up, let's say like a, a wet, you know, rooty climb, your tire slips out, your bike starts to fall over, your instinct is just to kind of put your foot to the side and put your foot down. Well, in a regular clipless shoe, if you don't clip your heel completely sideways, then you can't do that. But with a multi-release cleat, you can pretty much just pick your foot off the pedal a little bit to the side, just not straight up and put your foot down. So that's why I use the multi-release cleats on these shoes because of where I'm using these shoes. So that is a quick review of the 510 Kistrel Pro Boa shoes. Great shoe. Uh, the highlights are stiff sole, very easy to get in and out of, very smooth and easy Boa dial. Uh, they are very durable, not very light, but that's okay. And I'll put uh, the, the weight of these on the screen. I don't know the exact weight, but I'll look it up to see if I can find it to give you the exact weight. But they are uh, a shoe that I can highly recommend for enduro and also trail riding. Any questions or comments that you have, drop those below. Thanks for watching.